What up, YouTube? It's your man, Hulu Grease here yet again with another episode of the Pokemon Emerald Playthrough. In the last episode, we delivered the goods to Steven and explored the Granite Cave. And in this episode, we are going to take on the gym leader known as Brawly, the man of many, many muscles. Um, as you can see, I try to train up Lazy as much as I could, but it takes forever because of his ability. So I'm just going to put him in the back burner right now. I'm going to put Swallow up front because he's pretty much going to be the main priority in this gym. And we're actually going to get the experience share at some point in this game. So uh, I'm going to actually just stick that on the Lazy at some point because he's a good person. So the whole gym is based around, uh, you know, uh, the whole that you need Flash to get through, but it's not too hard, and there's trainers, like, hiding in some of these crevices, I think one of them's here, too, and then every time you defeat a trainer, uh, part of the uh, uh, area will light up, like, a Flash, so it's like a, it's like a progressively increasing Flash, so she's gonna send out Metatitty, because, you know, look at that giant nipple on its head, and, uh, I'm gonna send out Swallow, and I'm just gonna put Wing Attack up front, and just gonna spam the shit out of that. Oh yeah, one hit KO. Swallow your OP. Later, bitches. There we go, level 15 for Swallow. And I know you guys might not think that this is, like, fair for the rest of my Pokemon, but they're gonna get their chance to level up at some point, because I'm gonna have to use them specifically for some battles, and it's good to just use them while they're, you know, like, pretty useful. And I know the glare in this gym is really, really fucking annoying. But this is a double battle that we have right here. Which is a concept they introduced in this game, like I said before, but in Emerald especially, they introduced it even more because before you only got to da double battle trainers, and if you step in between two trainers, uh, the, the one that saw you first will prioritize you, and like, so like, that, so, and then you'd face the other one directly after the one that you, uh, faced. So it's like, there was no... Yes, but in this one they gave it a split decision and they made you battle both of them. There's actually times where if you battle one instead of both, you battle six each in instead of the combined six of uh, three. Which I thought was a pretty cool like idea for them to do. Uh, but like, I don't know, like I said, I really enjoyed the double battles. And I'm sorry, this is a little fucked up. I don't think I'm too zoomed in here. I thought it was a really good idea um, to do just because... You know, like, I like Double Battles, I like the concept of it, it's a really good way to share the experience amongst, you know, uh, Pokemon that you need, because, like, if you know that there's going to be a Double Battle, you switch Pokemon in front and you give them the experience that they need, because it's, it's a lot safer, but it's also a risk, because, like, you have double the damage, so, like, it's more spread out, like, amongst, uh, Pokemon, but then, then again, it's, like, you have the risk of both of their Pokemon attacking your Pokemon and thus killing you. Which is, you know, a really bad thing, especially if it's the one that you need to train. He's got a Makuhita. Go swallow. Make it, make him swallow his words. Ooh, get this one. And is that dead? Yeah, it is. There he goes. He swallows his clean house. 241, and he's level 16 already, he's breezing through this gym. It's actually really good to, if you get either a Wingle or a Swallow. Also, if you guys are having trouble with this gym, get a freaking Sabala. He doesn't get affected by any of the, the trainers that are in this. None of them. Like, and that's like, that's the funniest thing, because like, they can't touch you. I mean, he, it'll take you a while to like, dwindle them down, because he doesn't know that good of a moveset, but it's like, you know... It's like, you get to it. You'll get around to it. Alright, I'm gonna chop, and I'm gonna wing attack it to death. There you go. Oh, he lived! Oh, he's gonna read me. Oh god, don't lay air, please. I'm sorry if this commentary gets kind of dull at some points, because, like, it's really hard to come up with words to say if you guys ever think about, like, commentating and stuff like that. And I usually try to focus on the gameplay, that's that's what I do, just because I, I find it, like, entertaining to, like, go into the gameplay and talk about what's happening in real life, unless I have a story to talk about, because I don't really have many stories, like, I'm not that great of a storyteller. And so, like, I make fun of, like, people's names in the game, and I, uh, you know, the things, and I insult them, and, uh, you know, and I, I don't know, I just find it funny. So we got Jocelyn with her meditity. You got the nipple. Like I said, like, I like, I like commentating Pokemon because I'm an adult, 
that plays Pokemon, you know, and that doesn't happen too often. I'm not, I'm not afraid to speak my mind and use, like, adult language in a kid's game, and you know, people are just like, well, my kids are gonna watch this if they, they, you know, I'm not really worried about that. I'm here because I'm here to entertain everyone that's watching, whether it be an adult audience, a kid audience, or whatever. But without further ado, we made it to Brawly. This is how bright as the screen goes for right now, so you can actually see where you're going, but, I mean, none of my Pokemon took damage, so I think it's time to talk to this guy. I'm Brawly, Topher's gym leader. I've been churned in the rough waves of these parts, and I've grown tough in the pitch black cave. So you wanted to challenge me? Let's see what you're made of. Who receive us? Brawly, let's get ready to rumble. Do you get it? Because he's the fighting type gym. And he's going to send out a level 16 Machop. He doesn't actually have a Machop, I believe. No, he does have a Machop. He doesn't have a Metatite in his Ruby and Sapphire game, so it's actually easier to fight him in those games in here. And I got a critical hit in the first try, and his Machop is down. No nothing to worry about. Level 17 Swallow. All right, there we go. All right, he's about to send out Metatitty again, and uh, sends out Metatitty. Oh, yeah. This Metatite actually only knows one fighting move, and it's Focus Punch. So if you just keep attacking it, it can't hurt you. Yeah, I'm going to tell you that straight up. It, see, it loses its focus, and then it's, I think it knows Detect. All right, this might be its only move. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure because it's been a while since I played this game. But if you just keep attacking it, it's just going to die. Yeah, like you can't do anything. He just wasted the Super Potion on his Metatitty. 312, almost level 18, and here comes his ace in the hole, the Makuhita. Level 20, I believe, or is it 18? It's level 19, and it was in between the two choices I have, and it's a beast. It's very bulky, like I said, and it's a strong physical attacker. He uses his first two Pokemon to lower the uh, defense of um, your Pokemon uh, by either layering, but then he also knows the move Bolt Up, which is the TM that he's going to give you at the end of this battle which increases the attack and defense by one stage, which is really annoying on a uh, somebody that's already bulky as hell, it's giving them a boost. So I'm just trying to think about, oh, uh, this might actually kill Swallow because it's normal damage and it's a strong move. Vital throw, it never misses, and, uh, you know, it just, ugh, oh, pain in the ass. So I'm going to send out Rocky. <laughs> And I'm actually going to use Stun Spore on this guy to hopefully get the Paralyze. So he's Paralyzed right now. See, that's why you can't bank on just one Pokemon doing it, because his, this guy will sweep you if he gets enough bulk up set up. So I'm actually just going to Status Ailment this guy and Leech Seed him, so that way that he, he's probably going to get screwed. All right, there we go. Now it's time to start absorbing this guy. Whew. It's actually going to be hard. Because, n since my other Pokemon aren't as strong as Swallow. And I've, o I've already lost once before on screen. And that was against uh, the first gym leader in my black and my, my white playthrough. And um, it was very, very sad. Because, like, like, that was a whole episode I committed to fighting them. And the next episode I beat them, like, pretty easily. So I was like, you know, I just don't want it to happen again. So I'm just going to dwindle this guy down. Uh, with leech seeds and absorbs until he actually can hit me because he's gotten parahex twice already and I'm feeling I'm getting rather lucky with those because paralysis what I think is a 25% chance that it has to paralyze see look this is odd that it's actually doing it but I'm glad it is because it's making it easier for me I haven't taken any damage and I'm really feeling at ease right now because he's not doing that much to me though I, he must feel like if the AI could talk oh this is gonna hurt it's probably gonna kill me. Oh no, it didn't. Sweet. Because I didn't hit him with a physical attack. Okay, yeah, so that didn't. Sweet. Alright, but if I was. If I was. The, like, if this was um, a Wi Fi battle, which I don't do, by the way, because I don't EV train at all because I'm really bad at it. Uh, but if this was a Wi Fi battle, like these. This guy would be so mad. Like, right now, he's gotten Parahax three times, and he has a Leech Seed on him. He can't touch, he couldn't touch me at all, which was very frustrating for him. So, all right, I'm going to send in Damp for the cleanup crew. Unless he has another Super Potion, and then he can do it. No, he doesn't have another Super Potion, so I'm just going to Water Gun him to the face. And he's dead. I should probably should have put out uh, uh, Slack Off, actually. I should have probably put out Lazy. 
All right, and there we go, level 34, or level 15, 34 experience, gonna learn Bide. Bide is actually a really useless move. You store energy for two turns, and if the opponent doesn't hit you, you don't do anything. So you have to really, like, focus on your opponent hitting you, which kind of sucks. So I beat him. Whoa, whoa, you made a much bigger splash than I expected. You swamped me. Okay, you got me. Take this gym badge. You recently got $1,900 for winning. Yeah. And I get the knuckle badge, yeah! Gonna knuckle your face in. Uh, the knuckle, ba knuckle badge makes all Pokemon up to level 30, even those you get in trades will bail without question, and you'll be able to use the Flash, because it's useless, and I'll give you this technical machine, which is kind of also useless, unless you're using it for competitive gaming, which I'm not, because it's a playthrough, not a Wi-Fi battle. It's bulk up, attack and defense. And I just got his digits. Shit, man, I'm getting all these digits. I'm a great old pimp. Alright, peace out, Brawly. The reason I call it the Knuckle Badge is because when I was a kid, I never knew how to spell Knuckle. So I say Knuckle to know that there's a K in it. I actually do that with a lot of words, like Knob, Knife. Like, you know, the silent Ks, the silent letters. It's I just find it uh, funny for me. So, there we are. We beat the masculine gym leader known as Brawly. And I'm going to heal up right now because our team just took a massive beating. Uh, and that was very, very hard. But hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, Swallow definitely kick ass. Swallow's the MVP. But now he's a little over leveled, so we get to switch him up to the front with Rocky because these two are kind of weak right now because they don't know any decent moves. But in the next episode, we'll be talking to Mr. Briny and heading eastward to Slateport City. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, grease out.